Have you ever had someone make you look bad in front of other people? It might have been intentional or unintentional, but either way, it sucks. Maybe they just threw you under the bus unexpectedly and out of nowhere. If it was at work, maybe they responded to an email thread with a lot of people, including your boss, and pointed out something that you didn't do right. Maybe they added your boss to an email where you didn't do something right. Or maybe they revealed something publicly that you wish would have been kept private. In any case, they hung you and your dirty laundry out to dry. If you've been in this position before, you probably felt a few things. Embarrassed about not doing something correctly. Ashamed that others can now see it, but also annoyed that it was specifically called out by someone. You'd probably be a little mad at yourself, but also a little mad at that person for bringing attention to it. And you probably wouldn't forget about them doing that, putting you in a position that made you look bad in front of others. You'd probably hold a somewhat negative opinion of them going forward. Now you have to be a lot more careful around them, because you don't trust them to have your best interests in mind. And you may await the opportunity to return the favor, and maybe make them look bad. But have you ever had the opposite happen? Where someone went a little bit out of their way to not make you look bad in front of other people? I have. It happened almost a decade ago, but I still remember it very clearly. I was early in my career, working my first job out of university, and I had to send a bunch of documents to our company's legal team, who reviewed as some of the big shots of the organization. I hadn't really been given clear instructions on what I was supposed to do, apart from sending everything to the entire team. I was already nervous sending out an email that was going to be read by a bunch of people, most of whom I didn't know. Add on the fact that I was a junior employee sending an email to a bunch of senior employees, and the fact that I didn't really know the proper protocol. Ugh. I was very anxious clicking that send button. And apparently I didn't do something right. A few minutes after I sent it, one of the senior counsels responded to me and asked if he could call me. Oh god, what did I do? Yes, of course. Oh no. So he calls me and he says, hey, how's it going? Thanks so much for sending those documents in. We actually need you to do this, this, and this before we can start our review. If you can just add those on and update what you sent, that would be great. Oh. That wasn't so bad. I quickly made the edits and then responded to my email saying, Hi everyone, I've attached these things which I understand you need as well. And then at that point, he responded to everyone and said, Hi Graham, thanks for sending these in. We'll start our review. And I was a little taken aback at first. The way he responded to that email was as if it was the first time he was emailing me. As if he hadn't reached out to me to let me know that I needed to fix something first. As if I had figured out and then corrected the mistake on my own, at least in the eyes of everyone else. And the more I thought about this, the more appreciative I was. He could have easily made me look more incompetent than I already did. It would have been so much faster and easier for him to just reply all to the email and say, you are missing these things, please resend. But he didn't do that. He went out of his way to make me not look bad in front of the others. He took the time to reach out in private to let me know what was needed, which gave me the opportunity to fix my own mistake in public. And I respected him immensely for that afterwards. I trusted him as someone who knew what he was doing, but who was also tactful and considerate. And if the roles were ever reversed in the future, I would 100% return the favor and go out of my way to make him not look bad. And I definitely would not have developed this positive impression of him if he had just called out my mistake in a reply all email. It probably would have been the opposite in that case. Now, I've always remembered him doing this for me. It's something I've kept in my mind to this day if I've ever found myself on the other side. If someone sends me something and it doesn't seem to be fully complete, rather than calling it out in public, I'll reach out to them in private first to talk about it. I'll try to give them the same opportunity that I was given, the opportunity to preemptively correct my own mistake. And this only happens if you reach out in private. If you make things public, even if your intentions are good, it probably won't be appreciated. The way I see it, you can be remembered one of two ways in this situation. You can be remembered negatively for making them look bad, or you can be remembered positively for not making them look bad. In either case, they probably won't forget what you did and how you made them feel. And even if you have to go out of your way a little bit, I think it's always worth making someone not look bad. So instead of hanging someone and their dirty laundry out to dry for everyone to see, let them know if they have a stain on the back of their pants. Let them wash it themselves in private. And trust me, they will appreciate you for it. Anyway, that's it for today. If you found this video insightful, your thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on personal development and self-improvement. And let me know in the comments if something like this has ever happened to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.